Dr. Imvula began her medical journey in 1995 as an intern, breaking barriers by becoming the first Namibian to specialize in radiation oncology. A graduate of the Colleges of Medicine of South Africa, from there she played a pivotal role within Namibia's Ministry of Health and Social Services, contributing her expertise in radiotherapy and medical imaging while advancing cancer care in the country. As radiation oncologist, Dr. Invula's role has been multifaceted. She has assessed patients, developed individualized treatment plans, overseen therapy sessions, and collaborated with multidisciplinary teams to ensure the best outcomes for her patients. The things have changed. We have got new machines, we have got new techniques when it comes to uh, pathology, we've got new medication that is added to the treatment. In, in the past, maybe it was something, but now we have got things like immunotherapy, targeted therapy when it comes to chemotherapy. But also the machines, um, we have got new machines like the linear accelerator. Unfortunately, we are still hoping to get one. We are still uh, having a cobalt 60. Uh, but um, the cancer has also grown. We used to treat maybe about less than 100% per patients per year, new patients. At the moment, we have gone, we are up to th between 300, 400, and even 500. So, um, the, but the problem that we have is, and what we are facing is that the patients come late, and that is one of the problem. Over the years, her work has encompassed clinical research, global health initiatives, and special focus on breast cancer. She became a respected figure in Namibia's medical community, known not only for her skill, but also for her unwavering dedication to improving cancer care. As Dr. Invula hands over the reins to a new generation of oncologists, she expresses confidence in the future. So I'm actually sad that I'm going, but um, I know that I'm leaving the department in good hands with Dr. Iambo. I'll always be available. Um, as long as I can move and walk, uh, I'll always be available. My brain is still functional, so yes. if they need my help, I'll wow. always do that. Wow. Wow. She emphasizes the importance of educating their community about cancer and raising awareness. Education is very important. The people in the rural area, for example, they, they listen to the radio more. So if the Ministry of Health can pick up that um, and then give more education for the people to know if they see any signs of cancer, to go and seek medical attention, then only then we will be able to, to see more, more early cases that can be treated and be cured. Her retirement marks the end of an era, but also the beginning of a legacy. Dr. Imvula's contributions have laid a strong foundation for cancer treatment in Namibia, inspiring both patients and healthcare professionals. Johanna Urikos, NBC News, Ventuk.